how far are we from reaching that stage where just like, you know, our appliances or electronics, it doesn't matter whether LG or Samsung, I don't want to name any companies. All you have to do is plug in the cable in the electric outlet and it will power the device. Uh, so how far are we from that reality when it comes to EV charging market? What the industry community is doing in charging, uh, they do so-called testivals or plug fest. So you can imagine that as kind of a speed dating for tech. So you have 20 chargers, 20 cars, they're meeting, and everyone gets an hour together to try out if it works. And uh, this, first of all, doesn't scale well, <laughs> um, but this is how it's handled currently. And uh, the same between charging station and cloud and, and so on and so on. And yes, there's some efforts to try to make standard test sets, and but this takes some more years. So what I observe in the end market is mostly it's working, but just not always. I think there was recently a study that 25% of charging session fails in North America. In Germany was 10% and the goal is 99, uh, so 1% failure. So we have to be roughly one to one and a half orders of market you better than we have been, let's say two years ago. And this improvement, it's not a slight the behavioral change. You need big changes and such a big change could be bring everything to open source. Um, but also part of the story is to be fair, it's already getting better. So the part of the issue was maintenance. You can do that better with better cloud monitoring. Part of the story was that the, especially the early and old chargers have not been well engineered and well updated. So again, here it's all about keeping the software fresh. So software is not a one-time job, but a continuous effort. Um, but still this arguments like we need Everest or something like that and collaborate is super valid. If we go to the testivals and all the new cars, we always find something new with every new prototype car where things are interesting or different than expected. We have to work around things. And uh, this is also true on the other end towards the power system. And I think this, yeah, we're getting there and I think Everest is playing a huge part of it. But on the other hand, if you know which vendors working good out there, then you can get your, your energy fueled into your car already quite well.